Gemma Jones, nice to have you here. Thanks for being here. Woody Allen's, you know, he writes and he directs his films. You will meet a tall, dark stranger. The title of the film has a lot to do with your character. It does. Um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about that? Well, you will meet a tall, dark stranger, I guess, could mean literally, you know, Adonis will come riding over the hills. Or I suppose it could mean you will meet your demise. Um, and my role in the film, if I were to describe it to you, might sound rather depressing. She's a, an older woman and her husband runs off with a young girl and her daughter doesn't like her and her son-in-law hates her and she's taken to the bottle and it's all ghastly. But through Woody Allen's eyes, it's, uh, it's, he's very compassionate towards this character. And uh, she has a sort of ingenuous, naive optimism and kind of wins through in the end. She's having her fortune read mm -hmm. and, and taking advice from a fortune teller. How do you position that as an actor? Do you look at it as a comedy, as a drama? Well, Woody was very insistent that I should not try to be funny. I had to commit myself to the reality of someone who kind of w desperately wants to believe this psychic, who to everyone else's eyes is a complete charlatan. So of course it is comic, but I think it's also quite touching you know she's in such a vulnerable state that she'll believe anything and then she was she is told that she'll meet someone uh, and when I first got the script I read this that there was going to be a love interest and I thought oh that's nice and uh, I knew that Antonio Banderas was going to be in the film oh. <laughs> so I thought oh maybe Antonio is my love interest so you can imagine my surprise when this very nice actor but not quite Antonio Banderas appeared on set <laughs> Can you tell us about uh, working with Woody Allen? Well, because he's such an iconic figure, I obviously wasn't really very relaxed. Even as he was talking to me, I was thinking, I'm talking to Woody Allen. I'm going to do a film with Woody Allen. <laughs> so yeah. I'd like to have done the first three days of our filming over again. And he doesn't actually say very much. And he doesn't hand out praise. And so, you know, I actually initially wanted a bit of encouragement and I thought no come on you're a professional grown-up actress you don't need encouragement he'll tell you if he's not pleased so which is exactly what he did really and what about the rest of the cast because I mean you're surrounded by some really fabulous fabulous actors well it was lovely to work with Anthony Hopkins I had done a very small job with him before uh, but didn't really know him but we're both Welsh which is a great bond and we really grew up as theatre actors in London, so there's a great camaraderie in that. And uh, Naomi Watts and Josh Brolin, I didn't know, but I had some of the best times doing the scenes with them, which were really quite complicated, domestic scenes and mostly done on one apartment. camera in the apartment. And uh, that was a big adrenaline rush to do that. They had to be very carefully choreographed and. And, you know, it ups your game when you're working with really good, experienced actors. Best yeah. of luck. You were fabulous. I really enjoyed the film. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for being here. Thank you.